Hey YouTubers, listeners and watchers, this video I'm trying to explain to you that the Savior himself, he said he is not Christ. That's not his name, that's not his label. His label is Savior, okay, Emmanuel, not Christ or Jesus, but in this context here, he said I'm not Christ. So now anyway, let me read it here first. Matthew 24, 5 says, For many will come in my name saying I am the Christ and will deceive many. Now he is saying many will come in his name saying he's the Christ. Now if I were to say in the second, um, I'm quoting him saying, For many will come in my name saying I'm the Christ or many will come in my name saying he's the Christ. So he is saying that he is not the Christ, like that's not his title. I don't know how to explain it more to y'all. So you can understand that that line would should not have read with the quotations marks in there, those punctuations that says that quote is if he is, I am the Christ, like he's talking about those other people. No, he is talking about himself. For many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ, saying me, I am the Christ, me. Talking about me, saying I'm the Christ, and will deceive me. No, he's not saying, many will come in and saying they are the Christ. No, because he would have said, saying they are the Christ. No, he's not talking about those people. Because if he was talking about those people, there would be a double apostrophe before, after saying. But he is not quoting those people. He's saying himself. Many people will say, I am the Christ. Do you understand now? Because whoever was translating this um, verse here was trying really hard to make people think that he is talking about those people saying, those people saying, I am the Christ. No, it's not those people who are saying, I am the Christ. It's him who's saying he is. People will say he is the Christ. Okay? So, like, if you were to take those, uh, those quotation marks that are not supposed to be there anyway, because there's supposed to be a double, uh, a double apostrophe after saying, if they are really quoting what he said. For many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and will deceive many. Now, that's exactly what he was saying. He's saying many saying, I am the Christ and I'm not the Christ. I am the Savior. I am the, you know, his, 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 his names are not Christ. Christ is not even, it don't even have a meaning in Bantu language. It's in the language that he was talking on the cross. That's Bantu Kosa dialect in Bantu language. That's what he spoke on the cross. That's what the father wrote with his finger. So it's quoted clearly in the Bible. And there's no word Christ in that language. So now if he's, he, so he tells them, for many will come in my name saying, I'm the Christ. I'll show you a whole lot of, um, a lot, whole lot of scripture, a lot of, lot of verses here in the same video that show, that prove to you that he said in many other verses that is not. Now in this one, I just want to talk about in my name. What does in my name mean? Because in my name is when you, somebody representing you. Many will come in my name. That means will come representing what his course is for, what he stands for. Okay, so a typical example is if somebody is like my kids, my uncles, my if they go talking, doing what I'm doing, something that I established myself and I patented it, you know. So that means it's my name in those products that carry. It's my name in those actions. If, for example, say I'm married to somebody else, so it's my name that person is messing around, is dragging my name down the drain if they, they are messing up. So. A name is not typically something that's written on the person, but the behaviors. Here's another one. For whoever gives you a cup to drink, in my name. So the in my name thing, it, it shows that it, it some, somebody is, is, um, is, is representing. Like this one is, is um, a cup of water drink in my name because you belong to Christ. You, you understand? So he's trying to show them. I'll explain what this means, but for now, I'm just explaining what in my name is. So in here, he's just trying to show them that the in my name thing is if you're representing me and somebody else treats you good because you're representing what I stand for and they support that, then they will get a reward for that because they're supporting what I stand for. That is in my name. If somebody gives you a water drink in my name because you belong to me, not because I'm Christ, because he said it in the previous example in the pre that in many will call, well, shall come in my name saying I'm Christ, but I'm not Christ. That's not 
my name. But he doesn't say I'm not Christ, but he's, he's implied in it. Just that they cut a lot, whole lot of parts when they translated this original book. But the in my name there is what you represent, what you stand for, what you, you know. So it's in my name that I, you know, I, I make sure that I do the right things. Everybody must say, because it's my name that you are defaming. It's my character. Your defamation of character. It's a name. I, 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 don't, I don't know how else to, dis, to explain this so you all can understand that. In my name. So if even this one, for whoever gives you a cup of drink in my name because you belong to Christ, I surely I say you, he will by no means lose his reward. So if they do things to the, to, to the apostles or whoever else is standing for him in his name. So that don't even, that in my name is not Christ's name because he already disputed the Christ's name. I'll tell you an example. The in my name is not the tattoo like that. The, somebody has got your name. It's in my name, a tattoo name. No, it's a representation. Like I've been explaining now. It's in my name. It's in my, it represents me. Okay, I hope you all just get the scriptures right, get it, you know, just, you know, people like us are here to just explain to you all so you can, you know, get a better understanding on when you start. Like another example is Beyonce's song when she sings, it's my name that's on the jack or something. So it don't mean that that jack has got her name, literally her name on there. It just means she it represents her, what she was for when she was with this guy. So it's her name that's on that jig. That means she is the one who is orchestrating the whole ownership of the jig. Okay? So it's part of her movement. It's part of her activities, actions. It's, it's her. It's part of her soul that generated the possession of that jig. So it's my name that's on the jig. Okay? I'm not trying to support her, but she is, you know, she, she's a good example of this name thing too. Okay, so now just understand that if the Savior himself said, I'm not Christ, I'm not the Greek name, people will come saying my name is Christ and I'm actually not to be called Christ, that is serious because that means he is not. Okay, stop calling me. So now coming back to him, for whoever gives you a cup for water to drink in my name because you belong to to. Christ assuredly they won't lose their um they won't lose their you know whatever reward they were supposed to get because they are doing good to people that support my course okay all right now I hope you all understand this really clearly because it's very important that you understand it and you apply it accordingly because if you go around start thinking, you know, it's in his name, his name is Christ, Christ, and he actually says he's not, then you, you're in the wrong. Here's another passage, and he said to them, that's Matthew now, 16, 15. He's, he was talking to his apostles, okay, if you get a little bit of a background what's going on. He said, the apostles, he asked them, now, who do you say I am? And, and, and Kepa, which is Peter in your Bible. Peter says, you are Messiah. And some says, Peter says, you are Christ, you know, but, and then the son of the living. And then he goes on to say, oh, Peter, you are, you know, he gives him all the blessings. You will be this, you will upon my rock, you know, all the good stuff to Peter. But then if you jump off to the bottom line, and then after giving all those, you know, accolades to Peter, he says, then he warned them, he, he taught one, that they should not say to anybody that he is um, say, he's Savior, the Messiah. Okay, you see that, that strange little letters down there at, at 20 at the bottom, that he is Savior. That's his real name, Cindy, see, that's his name, Savior, which means Savior in Bantu, in the language that he was saying. So he's saying, he warned them that do not do, say to no one that I'm Cindy, see, the Messiah. Don't say the Messiah. Next to my name, because those Messiah, Christos, are not a Greek names. Remember now, Greeks existed even that time. And already they were starting to call him names like Christos, Messiah. And, but at the time, they did not have a picture of a tall white man like they have now. Like, it, like Revelation says, they gave an image to the beast. 
but at the time they did not have an image to the beast. They didn't have an image to to Christos or Jesus. They didn't have it. so they still called him Messiah in the times. But he's warning them. Said no, don't call me seen this, the Messiah. I'm seen this, the Christ. No, he just said you can call him Messiah. I mean you can call him seen this, but not the Messiah. If you read that clearly. And then he, here's another one, Mark. Say, Mark repeats exactly the same thing that Matthew is saying. He says, he says, but now it's just that Mark, you know, he, he cuts a whole lot of things out. He said, he asked them, and who do you say I am? Remember, now, it's the same thing that uh, Matthew is saying. And Peter says, you are the Messiah. Just look at it. And then, you know, Matthew jumps. He, Matthew probably was not there because he's not one of the apostles. So Matthew records that, and then he warned them that they should speak to no one about him. Now, Mark is a second person. He's a hearsay person. So he heard people saying, no, 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 we were warned. We were warned not to say this word, this name, this, this word. So he, we were warned. That means the Savior warned us not to say. So Mark is just saying the key things that happened in that situation. He's only mentioning the key things that there was a warning not to say, not to speak to those word, those words again. So Mark is you know, he's not interested in the blessings that Peter, you on the rock, and like Matthew just he recorded everything. But Mark he heard on the streets that they were talking about this, and then he went ahead and wrote a book. And now in this book that he wrote, he wrote the key important part that you are the Messiah, and then then the chapter uh, verse thirty, there's a warning that don't use that Messiah. But then, you know, Mark doesn't specify that, you know, he was warning them not to say, he's seen this, the Messiah, I'm seen this, the Christ. He must just say, I'm seen this. That's it. Because that's what the angel said. You must call his name, seen this, or you must call him name, say, which is that strange legal um, letter. That, that is seen this, means savior in, in, um, in Bantu language. Okay, so don't go around talking about Christ, Christ, Christos. That's not his name. Excuse me. That's not his title, actually. That's not his title. It's what he came here for. You see that, that, that strange word? And he shall, see the angel, and she shall give birth to a son, and you shall call his name Sin this, for he shall save his people. To save is sin this. To save is to save sin this in, in, in the Bantu language. <clears throat> so it's so clear. Now you don't have any kind of excuse to carry on calling him save um, Christos Christ when he said it himself that he don't call me Christ, don't call me Christos, don't call me Christ. Call me Sindis or Manuel. Manuel means which means you know to feel spirit. That's actually what his name is, not um not not uh, Christos, Christ. He said it, actually. I mean, I'm showing you verses here. You can ask me questions and comments and everything, but I'm just showing you real verses that show he said it. He's not Christos. Okay? So, because, you know, if you, you might end up in a situation where you are one of the many, many, how many people out there are calling on Jesus, Christos? Many billions of people. How many people are calling on Sonini? seen this few now it says there are few who find it so now look at the change i mean matthew 7 49 is clear because they get a narrow and the way is hard which leads to life and there's few who find that gate and there's few now if he says it himself that there's few then take that seriously don't follow the crowd the crowd is calling on crystals and use the name that he was given, the birth, not, not the birth given name, but the father's name. Remember now, in the beginning was the word, the word was, and the word dwelled with us. That's John 20, 1, 24. So John 1 clearly shows us that the father was in the savior. The father's name is Sonini. So the savior was walking around with Sonini, his name, because he carried the spirit of the, the light of the father. Remember, people are light beings. So he carried the light of the Father, the Word. So he, the Word's name is Sonini, too, because it's the essence of the Father. You, you get what I'm saying? So, like, you can say soul of the Father, but now I call it the essence. It's the light of the Father. It's called Sonini. So, anyway, look at this video here and tell me something. And See? Well. 
Now, this right here says, no, it's, it's the, I'm the Christ and shall deceive men. No, this don't mean it. That's just deception. Look, now the same people that are, that you are worshiping Christos with, you know, look at Kanye's video, worshiping Christ, worshiping Christ. These same people are the people that are proven. You're throwing up signs all the time, are proven to worship the devil. Look, he's praying to Jesus. He's praying to Jesus herself. And then you tell me you're sharing the same Savior, the name of the Savior with this girl here. That's Lady Gaga, by the way. So the only name above all names is one. That's the name of the say that's the name of the Father, and that's the name, the Savior, Spirit, the Spirit of the Father that the Savior carried. That's the name. She carries the same name. So Nini, Nini. But you gotta put that so in the beginning, you know, it's a reverence and respect, like Mr. You know, so nini. So so nini. Some people say in English it calls I am. So the I am. So nini means I am. So now the only name above all name is not Jesus. People, do you wanna go burn in the volcano in hell? Because time is running out right now. So there's no time to be messing around with Greeks, Greek name, Greek gods, Greek this. Sonini is the only name above all names. Now, when you pray, you pray in Sonini. Even the fake Jews couldn't, you know, fake that name. They had to keep it. It's Sonini. Then the fake Jews say it's Sonini. But now they start lying about those letters. Say those letters mean Y H W H E R. How way they be lying to people. By people because they don't want to listen to, to to African people right there because the African people are the ones that are going to tell you, no, there's a people, so we call him Sonini right around here. So that's the real name above all names. Can't have any other name above all names. Now the son, now let me give a little background now. The son was given a bunch of language name, Sindis, which means savior. Okay, and the other name was given was Manuele, which means spirit with us. You know, when you feel, hey, I feel a Manuele, that means I feel spirit. Okay, people be talking that. So the son did all the miracles in his father's name, in the name of the father's spirit that dwelled in him, the word. That's the name of the father's spirit, which was the word which is in John 1, you can see in the beginning was the word, word was this God, word, word was God. That means the word was the essence of the father, the light of the father, the soul of the father. Like you, let's say your name is Jane or Janet or, you know. So your, Janet has got a flesh called Janet. Janet's got a soul called Janet. Okay? Your soul is, you know, the things you do. And just that now our father's soul, which is the light or the word, the spirit of the father, is the one that can create, that can do everything because that's the essence of the father. So that essence of the Father, the light, came and dwelled inside the, the Savior, the man called Cindy, who was in flesh, the typical like you and me. Now that's the same man that's going to come and be the king of the Jews, king. He's going to rule the whole world forever, be the king, not the president, and we won't have none of that in the future. So he's going to come and rule the world as the king. Now once and for all, the king, or the president, if you want to call it in English. So... So, but then his flesh, like you and me, but the difference is he had his light. The light that's in him was, was Sonini's light. That's why he could say stuff that create, because the word that created everything. So now that's the word, that's the name. I'm giving a breakdown on him so that if I say do not use crystals, do not use Jesus, because a lot of people will start using that. And I mean, I showed you the verses there. That he says he's not he's not Christos and warned his disciples to not call people walk around talking about he is this, he is Christos or he's just he's, he calls Jesus or Messiah. No, those are not his Greek names. So he says it there. So now I'm giving you an alternative. Now, if you don't want to use that, then this is the real name. If you really want salvation, I'll I'll show you in, in Google Translate in that language. Now he was talking across. It's called Kosa. That's a Bantu language. So a, a light in Kosa is called Kanyu, okay? Now John, he came as the Luhanyana, Luhanyana. A lot of people call him 
Yohanan, that's the English people or white people or Jews people, that they don't know how to say Lichanyan. So they said, no, it's Yohanan. Yohanan, I'll show you in. So it means it's little light. Look at John's name in Wikipedia. John's name is Yohanan in there. Yohanan is Luchanyan, like I just showed you now. Yohanan, Luchanyan, which means a little light. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this, I'm trying to show you that the, the, this name is Bantu names, which come from the same dialect that is spoken across Lukanyana, which means a legal light. Because remember, John was a little light, his cousin to the Savior. So he was a little light, and the big light, which is the Savior, was still to come. And then John was a little light that's talking about him everywhere. Talking about, guys, wait for the big light that's going to come. So it's a little light, and the, it's a lesser light, big light still coming which is Lukanyan. So now I'm showing you, this is the only way to salvation, not Christos, not anything. This is. So Nini, 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 that's the name. Above all names, you, you pray to in the, in the, in, the, in Sonini's name. Everything Sonini's name. Sonini's name. You break everything in that name. Now, you can be, go ahead and be stubborn, and you have been revealed, you've, you've heard what it was the real name is. If you carry on talking about Christos, because he said, the Savior said, many shall come in his name, which means many shall come representing what he stood for, preaching in every Sunday, in the, talking about he, his, his Christos. Do not follow those because they will deceive many people. And we see how many people are going on church Sundays listening to all these false prophets, false preachers. Talking about his name is Christos. He's, he says don't. And he even warns his, his, his apostles. Don't go around talking about I'm seeing this with the Christos. I'm seeing this. Don't use that Christos thing next to my name. That's what he say. And you, you, I'm paraphrasing a whole lot of so that, you know, just to get you understand. What, what I'm trying to get you to get to, if you know what I'm saying. So ask me questions. If you still got questions, you're confused. But if you're serious about salvation, this is. You've got to be able to discern if something is truth or not. Have a good evening. Bye.